Hi, my name is Judy Swigert and I'm the Superintendent of Schools here at Greater Latrobe School District. And uh, First, I'd like to thank Latrobe TV for asking me to um, do a video on a monthly basis to update the community um, as far as what's going on in the school district. I do appreciate that. And also, I have to give out a thank you to Alex Graziani, who I know has um, set the bar really, really, really high for me because I hear he is extremely successful with this. And so, um, thanks, Alex. Um, but first, um, I just wanted to mention to everybody about our upcoming big event, which is our high school graduation on June 1st at 7.30 in the Senior High School Auditorium. Uh, 358 seniors from Greater Latrobe are graduating. It's a huge event. Um, we're very excited about it, as they are as well. Um, we do stream live graduation, and if you're interested in watching, um, you can certainly go to our website and see it live. and, and uh, celebrate with all of our students who are graduating that evening and their families. So that's a big event. Um, but the second piece that I wanted to talk about a little bit is technology in the school district. For those of you who have lived in the district or um, have been part of the community for a long time, you recognize the Greater Latrobe 14 years ago um, instituted a one-to-one -one laptop initiative program in our junior high school. It was truly one of a kind in the state and uh, truly innovative in its use of technology and instruction. Uh, about three years to four years after that, it migrated to the high school, and that is presently where it uh, has its home today. Um, as you're probably aware, every one of our high school students uh, receive a laptop, a leased laptop, when they enter the senior high school. They keep it for three years, and then they return it to the high school, and we actually migrate those uh, laptops that have been used down to our junior high and our elementary buildings. Um, that being said, um, we recognize that over the years, and you probably are aware of this if you have students in the high school, the laptops have become netbooks, um, and that truly is because of price. They're a little less expensive. They don't necessarily have the power um, that some of the laptops that we initially uh, leased had, as well as the screens have now migrated to a nine inch screen. And so we do um, and have received a, some concerns regarding what those uh, netbooks are able to do. With all of that information um, and the advent of what we call BYOD, which is bring your own device, and I'm sure many of you have heard of that term, um, Greater Latrobe being innovative uh, as usual in technology is moving forward with a BYOD uh, program in our high school and the high school only for the 2012-2013 school year. Um, this really is uh, a big initiative. It requires um, various things for us to do infrastructurally, um, but we are moving forward with this. And about a week and a half ago, we had information meetings for our present ninth graders who are moving into 10th graders next year. Um, we are actually going to be giving our 10th graders three different options as far as the use of technology in the high school. The one being the BYOD. Um, that uh, program is one that um, we have visited some schools, actually not in Pennsylvania, that are doing this. Um, and so we're learning as we go along. Um, but one of the questions that some of the parents had regarding BYOD is, can our student uh, bring a uh, phone instead of a laptop? And truly, one of the things that our discussion with the parents is, is this is an instructional piece. Um, we know, and if we challenged a few students about typing a, an English paper on a phone, they could probably do it, um, but we would argue that it's probably not the best device right now. Not to say um, that in the future the phone might be um, a very good device. So if people are asking us about what type of device to bring, um, we would suggest um, that they look along the laptop range simply because of the use of the technology in the building. Um, all of that being said, that is one of the options for our 10th graders. That does not mean we will not give that option to our juniors and seniors. We will. Um, they can also do that. However, our juniors and seniors presently have laptops. They will continue to have the same laptop they have now until they graduate um, in one or two years. The second option is a new option and one that we are actually excited about and that is the ability for our parents over a three-year plan to actually purchase a laptop um, and so when the student leaves the district they actually take the laptop with them. Um, one of the things for school districts is we do have some unique pricing 
And one of the great benefits to this is having a three-year full warranty, ADP warranty, included in that price. So that is um, a pretty good deal. If you've ever gone to buy a laptop and you know about the warranty costs, um, they generally raise the cost significantly. Um, there are two choices of laptops if a parent is interested in this. Um, and one is an 11 and a half inch screen, one is a 14 inch screen, generally pretty much same power. Uh, the one, the 11 and a half inch screen is actually what they call, we're calling a kid friendly educational laptop. Um, and what that means is it has Gorilla Glass. Um, it has a spill proof uh, uh, keyboard. Those kinds of things that generally, if you're going to have some accidents, that's probably the types of things that uh, might happen. So the two choices of laptops are there. It is something that we believe is, is something that we can offer to our parents um, that when they leave here, um, they will own that laptop at, or migrate it down to other students that they might have coming up through the system. Um, and the third option is really an option that presently our students have, and that is to lease. Um, we are not doing away with that program. Um, that simply means that for a technology user fee of $125 a year, we will give the student a laptop, that they will have the same laptop for three years. At the end of the third year, they return it to us, and it is used during for the lower grades. So it is different, and the BYOD really is what's bringing in that difference for this, as well as the purchase of the laptop. Well, we believe that um, giving um, choices is really the key to our continued success in technology, as well as being able to provide technology that is um, enough and robust enough to run the things that we need to, um, to run. So it's an exciting time for technology for us. Right now, um, we probably have about 120 parents who have signed up for various things, and it's pretty much evenly divided between the BYOD, the purchase, or the lease. So there's not one that is um, uh, higher than another at this point. Now, as the there's approximately 325 students in our, soft, our freshman class coming to the sophomore year, so we still have a couple hundred to register, but at this point, um, the choices are evenly divided. So it's an exciting piece, and one of the things the other night at the board meeting you might have um, read in the newspaper is the board approved an upgrade to our wireless for approximately $380,000. Now that upgrade is for all of our buildings, all six of them, the five buildings uh, that house students as well as our admin building, and that moves our wireless to N, as they say. And basically, um, that's an important piece for us to house a BYOD because there are, as you can well imagine, a lot of issues with students bringing in their own devices onto the district network. And that means, and, and you're probably aware, that we have to, by law, filter all people who enter our network on the internet. And so with this upgrade, it allows us to do that. And it really is a, it's a big investment at $380,000 but in addition to that, it is, we hope, going to service us for eight to 10 years minimally, maybe longer. Um, so we, we uh, believe that that's going to be really critical as far as moving forward with technology. This first year, again, it's our 10th graders, but obviously we'd like to move this forward. And with the um, advent of online education and other things, we know that technology is here to stay in the instructional arena. Um, as always, um, please feel free to call us, um, email, um, a lot of people have a comfort level with email, um, and questions, um, anytime you have a question or a comment or something you'd like to say, please feel free to email us, call us, um, or come to visit us. Um, we are in our new offices at 1816 uh, Lincoln Avenue. I say new, um, it's almost been a year. Um, we moved out of the building on Main Street as most of the community members are aware. Um, and uh, this suits our needs. This is the old American Red Cross building, which some of you uh, may have been uh, in one time or another. Um, but it really has um, suited our needs well. Um, and uh, unfortunately, the beautiful building on Main Street was just uh, a little um, costly to renovate. Uh, so at this point, we are here. And again, if you're interested in coming in to see the building, um, if you haven't been here, um, please feel free to stop in. Uh, we're here all summer. Um, so even though the students aren't here, uh, you know, we are here in our building, so please feel free to stop. So thank you very much. We appreciate it, and uh, 
Uh, we'll see you next month.